Hello everyone, welcome back to second episode of Walking on Dice. And today I'm just going to be walking on the motherboard of the iPhone 3G, the second phone that changed the world. <clears throat> As you can see, this is iPhone 3G and this is the iPhone 6. So apparently I'm, I won't be able to walk through the iPhone 6 as of yet because as you see it's not uh, disassembled yet. So let's put that one away for now. But I'll be walking through the motherboard of the iPhone 3G. So <clears throat> before I do, the reason why I do this is because I want people to appreciate the electronic design as well as the die design, right? The chips, uh, the brain of the chips that uh, the purpose of this episode. So uh, these two were bought through eBay and there's only like six bucks for both of them. Uh, apparently they're both dead so that's the reason why the price is so cheap. And a lot of people tend to buy them for parts, for replacement. And for my purpose, I think it's just uh, completely dead, so I think they're just selling it for parts. And for me, I'm actually collecting them and also decapsulate them down to die level to appreciate the art of the designers, right? Um, so that's the reason why I'm doing this. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the iPhone 3G components before I pop it on the microscope and look at them, at them under high magnification. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look on my table before we hop on the microscope. So here's the iPhone 3G, pre-disassembled of course. So here it is, that's just the screen. So I'm just gonna remove the screen. And I think this plate kinda moved, but these are, these are basically EMI shielding plate. And what they do is, when the component is such a small component, but yet they emit a lot of um, signal, it's called electromagnetic interference, right? That's what EMI stand for. And you can definitely look uh, uh, more about it on Wikipedia or Google it. But that's the purpose of these plate. And again, without these plate, uh, this component actually going to generate a lot of noise. And they're not audible noise, right? They're actually electronic noise or electronic signal noise that could interfere the performance of the phone. And so here they are. So under the EMI shooting, these are the components these in the iPhone 3G. And you can see that's the Apple own design chips. So you won't be able to find these chips right here on um, DigiKey or Mauser or any of the electronic component or distributors website. Uh, so that's that's the internal of it. And I look at this ahead of time under the microscope. So it's actually pretty dirty, but from, a, from this low magnification or this normal from the eye view, you won't see the dust underneath it. But anyway, there are a lot of fine dust in between, also lint from the user pocket, somehow got into it. Uh, but so let's go ahead and take a look at this under the microscope. And eventually, the next episode is I'm gonna start going down to the die level for the individual IC. So you can see that's a lot of work to do. But before that, I also have to use the heat gun, heat gun to remove the component off the motherboard first before I decapsulate down to the die level. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this onto the microscope and take a look. And so that's the front and that's the back of it with the camera here. So if you can imagine this is the phone, that's the front of the phone, I'm holding the phone this way. So the camera is facing, the rear camera facing that way. So, and obviously the front facing camera is on the screen of the phone. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually go down to the, draw into the screen here because there's not much component. These are the connectors that attach onto the motherboard and the motherboard is basically the brain of the, well, that basically control the entire phone, right? Telling you what to do. So again, you know, when we look at die, you have multiple dies here com communicating to each other. So when we look at individual chips, that's just one functionality of the, the entire phone, right? For example, if this chip right here control the audio. So all it does, it, it, it uh, control audios. And so this is the brain of the phone telling the audio chips what to do. So when you look at the die level, that's the amount of the, that's the designer has to take in consideration. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this under the microscope and look at them at high mag and see what they look like. Appreciate the design before I uh, destroy them even further down to the die. Okay, uh, otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm actually basically this is called the elegant way of recycling electronics. So before they go to waste, 
I actually document them all first before destroying them. And I find that I find that I'm beginning to like this as a hobby because I want to see what the die layout looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead. Enough of talking and pop this onto the microscope. So here we are, starting off with the SIM card at the very top. You can see uh, I actually have the screen recorded now, so you can see at 20x, it's even too big to fit the entire SIM card in there. So I might have to move this manually. Otherwise, I can move micro movement with the stage. So let's go back to the origin and let's take a look from the very top. So if you look at here, so I'm passing the SIM card and I'm going to the, I guess to the right first. So these are the connection that it makes to the screen when we when we disassemble the phone. You can see this connection right here, they're a little bit out of focus, but let me zoom in. So yeah, so even down to the connector, these are high precision connector, right? Look, talk about these are tiny connection in between. So that way the, the two pins don't short out each other. And here is the casing, or at least the shell, the housing of all the components with the EMI shield removed. So you can see underneath there, there are capacitors, resistors, and that chips right there. <clears throat> I'm not sure who's made by, but I'm sure inside that chips, there's also a die as well. And again, it's only inside chips that has die, resistor, capacitor, nothing interesting to look at because they're just, uh, you know, composite material inside. Or for capacitor, that's just different uh, dielectric elements inside. So just powder, you know, some kind of uh, some kind of material. So it's nothing to nothing interesting to look at capacitor and resistor. Those considered passive components anyway. So over here, you can see we have an atmail part right on top of the Apple chip. And I'm gonna open that too. My favorite one is definitely the Apple one. You know, every time when they have their event, they tend to show the A the A series chip and where each functionality is located: the memory, the RAM, the CPU, the GPUs. So those are the one I'm interested in looking at to see if they match the, the event. So this is the chip. That's the Apple chip and the top marking of the chip. And obviously inside it would be a lot of would be a huge die inside that the construction of it. Most likely this is a BGA, meaning ball grid array. They don't have leads. A majority of them don't have leads because of the real state on the board. Another IC right here, I'm not sure what that is. So, so now I'm at the bottom of the stage where the stage could would not move anymore. So let's go to the left really quick. So that's the Toshiba part on the motherboard as well. So Apple is also using Toshiba part. So if you consider investing in Toshiba, you know, I guess they're using Toshiba parts as well. Uh, so if I further move to the, to the left, I couldn't because uh, the staging is mainly for micro movement. So let me go ahead and move it back to the center or the origin and manually move the motherboard instead of using the stage. And as we move across from the Toshiba, we also have additional parts here. You know, you have the another Apple chips, Apple custom chip over here with the Apple logo. So let me focus in that real quick. Okay. And moving right along, let's go ahead and go down. There's another these are, believe it or not, these are actually I see as well. And those are the lints that I was referring to at the beginning of the video. Okay. So that's the top portion of the EMI shielding. That's another I I don't think that's an IC, so let's go ahead. That's another IC right there. The let me let me focus in really quick. There you go. That's another IC. This is another IC. So there are plenty of ICs on this on this um, motherboard. Oh, when I refer IC, I mean integrated circuits or chips or part. This one is interesting here because at the back of this, this one, there's an Apple one as well. And let me go ahead and switch to higher Mac and focus on this one so you can see the camera movement on this. So it's pretty cool when the Kian's digital microscope changes lens. So as you can see, I'm now at 150x right now, and that's a huge um, magnification for this board. So again, I, I look, it looks like Apple is using the back of the die because I'm very familiar with the back side of the die 
to engrave their uh, the part number on there okay so this magnification is too high so let me zoom back out to 20x again otherwise we won't be able to see anything but at the die level we definitely need to go down to uh, such high magnification to see okay so that's that so moving on to the second plate so this is the housing for the after the second plate is removed another chip in there and another one right here as well and let me focus on that one as well okay so that's that one and this one is a little bit too bright so let me turn down the lighting so that's the tdk part and let me try to focus in on it yeah it's just a white tdk part not sure what that one is more parts more chips so again they all leadless uh, leadless parts or leadless components because of the real estate right if you have leads along here then you're going to take up room where these capacitor or resistor need to be again iphone back in the day they want to be light thin and small right to fit in your pocket so there are more chips down here as well um, so hopefully you like what you see here and eventually I'm going to open up open them all up for the die level for comparison so again this is a pre the appreciation for the designer right that goes into this I mean this is the second phone that changed the world right after this everybody start to to look at iPhone as their as a competitor the main competitor to chase after again these are high precision connector for the purpose of the video let's go ahead and change it to high mag and wrap this one up because there's not much to look at so, so I'm gonna go all the way to 500x as I mentioned in my first video at 500x any slight deviation from the plane onto the surface that mean the uh, the camera is going to be out of focus because because at such high magnification the leveling needs to be flat right so you can see I'm not, I'm not you're not sure where I'm at right now so let's go ahead and screw up so I'm at this capacitor right here right oh by the way all these components are considered conformal coated meaning they have a layer to protect them from environmental dust or um, moisture so let me try to find a connector here. So I'm pretty low. So let me zoom back up. So you know what? Let's just skip this and find the next connector. Because this one happened to be at the edge of the plate. And the plate wouldn't move any further. So let's go ahead and manually move the connector to the area that we want and just go down on the connector now okay there it is so we found a connector so at 500x is a little bit too high or too powerful so let's go back to 300x There you go. So that is the, those are the legs of the leads of the connector. And if you zoom to the top, then that's the top portion of the connector. Looks like they're using gold plated connectors for the connection, but for the lead, it's just probably tin or just, um, yeah, tin. So anyway, that is the motherboard walkthrough and i will revisit you guys next episode for for the die and i'm gonna the first one i'm gonna go after is this one right here which is the apple chips uh it's off the stage again so let's go ahead and bring it back to origin 
and go to this apple chips. So my first candidate is going to be this apple chips right here for the dye. So that's a wrap for this episode and I hope you enjoy the walkthrough of it. Um, I, I do appreciate the design and always amazed by all this component. They're so tiny, but yet they're so powerful, right? They change people's lives and also connecting us around the world, also helping us in many ways and generate so many jobs with just these tiny components. So that's what amazes me, right? A lot of people take them for granted. I mean, look at them now. They used to be so powerful, but now we're already on iPhone 14. This is iPhone 3G. So right now, they consider considered a scrap, but I just want to see as technology progresses, you can see these components are going to be smaller and smaller and more powerful. And they also consume less battery, right? So they're more power efficient. That's the key. So that's about it. Uh, I have a lot of work cut out for me. I have to remove all these parts and get down to the die level. But again, I enjoy what I do and I hope you enjoy what you do as well. So until next time, I'm going to go into one of these for the die level. But in the meantime, I may show you guys the other die in the next episode, okay? So remember, if you like the content, please subscribe and hit that notification button for the next episode and also the like button. Have a good one. Bye for now.